It's a returning champion, Elge Intensity, aka Trapway the Machine. Last year, Tess Holiday announced that she was diagnosed with anorexia, despite pigging out on video, basing her brand on her morbid obesity, and getting fatter over the years because any suggestion to lose weight got shut down faster than CNN+. Holiday recently went on vacation, but still found time in her busy days of relaxing and grazing to fish for sympathy. She says, I'm gonna be honest, I've been really struggling with body image in a way I've never experienced. Tess Holiday has been obese pretty much her entire life and frequently wears revealing clothing, so she's obviously comfortable with how disgusting she looks. She also has no issue with critiquing other people's bodies. Also, how does anyone take this guy seriously? He looks like Uncle Fester. Maybe from the neck up. You look like Pugsley from the neck down at the Thanksgiving play. According to Holiday, you shouldn't comment on her weight, but she can comment on your appearance if she doesn't like you. Her logic's about as inconsistent as her heart rate. It's been almost debilitating because even though y'all see me out having fun, it sometimes takes so much work and energy just to be able to leave the house. Holiday posts pictures and videos of herself outside of the house almost every day, so her body image isn't debilitating. Of course it'll take a lot of energy to move the weight of this NBA champion on the legs of this AKC champion. As a plus-size model, her body image essentially paid for her house. Her body weight makes it hard for her to leave it. I'm the kind of gal that always wants my photo taken, until lately. And these are some of the first photos I've taken in a while were... I saw myself in them and was kind. I'm working on it. She must have been kind in this photo because she hasn't caused any of those boats to capsize with her plus size. She eventually breached and landed on one though. If she leaned on the side of the boat that heavily the entire trip, then it probably had to be replaced. Tess Holliday is the only passenger who can cause more destructive force while traveling than Mike Tyson. To my knowledge, she didn't sink any seafaring vessels on her vacation, but her excessive weight still does plenty of damage to the vessels that carry her blood. She apparently likes how she looks in this picture, but not any of the ones that she posted three days prior, even though there's no difference. In one, she has a small bag from Ivy Park, but in both, she looks like a full bag of hefty strong. Finally, she says, soaking up this family time and feeling grateful, even when it's tough, followed by the heart and sparkle emojis, even though the only lights flashing on her heart will come from surgical lamps. She claims to enjoy family time, yet eats so much and exercises so little that she reduces the amount of time that she'll be able to enjoy with her family. Holiday stated that she had trouble looking at herself in pictures recently, but she should be ashamed of every picture that she's ever been in because of the falsehoods that they've perpetuated. Tess Holiday won't send the right message about body image until that unlikable giant downsizes like Netflix. She should be ashamed of her food pictures, too. Earlier on her trip, she showed off one of her snacks, a pink champagne cake. One slice has almost 600 calories, but we all know she ate the whole thing. Unlike someone who actually has anorexia, Tess Holiday doesn't struggle to eat. When it comes to food, the only time a whale feels strain is when it filters krill through its baleen. Tess Holiday isn't a role model. She's an addict who refuses to admit that she has a problem, and an enabler who reduces life expectancies. Hopefully more people realize that the fat acceptance movement is a kind of herd mentality that makes you shit the bed. Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now. Everybody drugs them, but it's sometimes. Everybody tries the gear somehow.